yesterday I did a live on YouTube and I started out the live by talking about the fact that the reason why some women don't see red flags or have no discernment is probably because of the environment they were raised in. Many of us are socialized to turn off our brains, especially if you were raised in the church. Many of us are socialized to see men as being an authority figure and authority figures are to be unquestioned. Understand that we are socialized this way. And if you come from a family that was abusive, your normal, your normal may not be the same normal as somebody else. Your normal may not entail you having the common sense that some of us have. So that is the reason why when I share these stories, I'm sharing it so that other people can see that these are red flags and not necessarily to shame the women who missed red flags. And sometimes some women come into my comment section like, she should have left sooner. Why didn't she know? There is a reason because not all of our baselines for what is normal are the same. Some of us used to have an opinion only to have our parents tell us that having an opinion meant disrespect if we had an opinion different from our parents. Some of us may have had parents consistently criticizing us. So we don't see the negging as being negative. If you had somebody that is consistently nitpicking on you from the time that you were a child until adulthood, then getting with somebody or being in a relationship with somebody that is constantly nitpicking at you is normal. So that is the reason why I approach women's stories with more compassion. So Paper Mario says, thank you for making this video. It's disheartening to see so many callous and mean comments from women about women who maybe didn't have the luxury of self-love, self-acceptance or esteem. You know better you would have done X, Y, and Z. Good for you. I love that for you. But don't look down your nose at women who aren't there yet. It's all a process. I want women to know and understand that, yes, you might have fumbled, but you can still get back up. I also said that discernment is bred out of us. We are taught to be unquestioning. And so this woman made the comment, makes me inexplicably angry how our self-preservation and discernment and BS meter is bred and cultivated out of women from the time that we're little girls. Ladies, keep your smart mouth. When we discernment is very, very important. And we have to have some, you know, some balance. But when we are told that we can't have opinions and we're told that in various shaming ways or with ways that are like getting in trouble or facing consequences for having an attitude or whatever, our difference of opinion is seen as an attitude that keeps us in line, that keeps us you know, going with the flow and the flow might be detrimental. This person says, I grew up in an ultra religious family and indeed was forced to turn off my discernment. Sometimes it makes me so mad. I took so long to recognize and get past the brainwashing that left me in abusive situations, blaming myself. I'm happy I found creators like you, Princella, and of course, Bill Hamlet. Recognize that religion Religion makes us turn off our brains. We are supposed to live by faith and not by sight. Do you know what that means? Live by faith. Live by what they are telling you and not what you can see with your own eyes. They are breeding it into you to turn off your brain. And so, yes, I understand that some of the things that we see, it, it's egregious what some women put up with. I get it, but can we use these stories to help the next person? Can we help the next person not um, miss those red flags instead of you swooping in and letting everyone know that there is no way you would put up with that? I get it. I'm so glad that you wouldn't put up with that. But let's get back to this story and get back to the work of helping the next woman get as smart as you. Y'all go ahead, chime in, like, comment, share.